One of the rarest and most exotic of jungle fauna, the Flooper Beast, is famous for exactly two things. Its luxurious feather fur, worth millions on the runways of Paris, Milan, and Saskatchewan. And of course, <sighs> floofing. But since we can't actually show floofing for reasons of common decency, we'll have to do this. That's right, floof away. While Tiger gives you hippies a laser-guided haircut. <laughs> This jungle's supposed to be my personal Huntopia, paid for by selling tiny, floofy clothes to models all over the world. But no matter what I try, that George of the jungle is always in the way. The stubbly net launcher. The macho pit trap. The positively dripping with testosterone rope snare. Maybe we could get him out of the way first? Top-notch brain work, Weevil! And bottom rung timing. Why didn't your brain butter this up earlier? You know, maybe we Ow! could get George out of the Ow! way first. Why? Ow, Weevil! Maybe we could get George out of the way first. Why, Weevil? Maybe we could get George out. No. No reason. Come, Weevil. Catching that fool will be the simplest of gambits. We have everything we need. Blast! Are you a prince? Weevil! Hold your lips. One, there's no kissing in the jungle. And two, this is a poisonous no-licky frog. And it's exactly what we need. Yes, the no-licky frog, one of nature's cruelest inside jokes. Years ago, they were actually known as, wow, you've really got to try this. Go on, give it a good licky, frogs. This was due to their unique flavor, which has been described as butterscotch mixed with happy memories of childhood. The frogs got so tired of being licked that they held a vote. It was unanimous. They wanted the licking to stop. They presented their idea to the Ape Council. But the Council had one of their own. <laughs> now, trap me a hundred more for morning. I'm taking a strategic eye nap. in your mouth. <sighs> oh, George got a little crazy with coconut milk last night. Rare head medicine. <laughs> George, late for front patrol! Ooh, are you a prince? <laughs> George, another late morning? Ugh! What a mess of strange flesh-like pudding. Ah, George! Hold on! Ah! Worst case of no licky frog poisoning I've seen this week. Fix George! Yes, please tell us there's a... There's no cure. It's incurable. The way I see it, your days as king are done. Surely there are options. There are tons of options for someone in your condition. George can be a pro rug. Modern art. Pizza dough. But George, you what? Don't interrupt me when I'm on a roll, son. A hammock. Better than cardboard. An oversized coaster. No! George Jungle King, not Jungle Coaster! Super Beast need George! Uh, little help here. I'll get the bucket. You're a fancy one, but not for long. Stop, rapscallions! Let George at Hunters! <laughs> Wake up! No time for nap! George stuck! 
George, no good to anyone. Oh, maybe one thing George can do. Oh, George, bad king, but good blanket. Wait, George, have brain thought thing. Oh, wait, no, stop for me. George Collywell here because George need help stopping Tiger and Weevil. What happened to you? He licked a no licky frog. One of these? Wait! <laughs> oh yeah, tastes like life. George have idea, but need sewing machine and friends with bones. You floofed your last floof. What? Someone's poaching my flooper beast! George can still be good king, with help. You itchy! Put hair on outside next time! Put on your shearing pants, Weevil. You've got feathers to shave. No one gets to jump on Tiger! Let the flooper beast go! Yes, do that now! It's nap time! That isn't sporting. It's just weird. <laughs> Come on, man. George, go save Floofer Beast. I love you, Ape. <laughs> Woo! Feathers in a can! Now the flooper beast won't have to suffer. I never would have thought this up without my new lab coat. George helped Magnolia do science. You bet! Hey! Knock it off! This is a kid show! Magnolia! Uh, George, no can turn away! Yes! <laughs> Leotard? Too retro. How about a nice blazer? Too fancy. Sorry, George, but we're running out of clothes to turn you into. George! I'm going to turn you into an amazing dress! And how that stop Tiger and Weevil? And since when do you care about dresses? Okay, it won't, and I don't. But the science awards are coming up, and I'll be the only one there wearing another human being! How cool is that? Right. How about a nice apron? Ape, it's time to stop fooling around. And turn into my living dress? No, George have to hit Tiger where it hurts. <sighs> George, perfect fit. Get off me, I only wear natural fibers. Way more! No, that hunter man wear George jacket from now on. Hey, hey. King of jungle, strong as me can be. Ah, he was just for that day. Sweaters don't sing. Right to me and me. Ah, me was just for that tree. Yeah. Me, me, king of jungle, strong as me can be. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> By Hemingway's ghost, I had a horrible dream. Really? Tell George about it. Ah! Yeah! Ah! Ah! Ooh, now George Bellytop. Daring. 
Like so many men before, I have been defeated by fashion. Tiger? No, Weevil. Turn away before I... Man cry. <laughs> I'll give you anything if you'll just unbutton yourself and slip off my shoulders, sweater man. Tiger, promise to leave Floofer Beast alone. Yes, I swear it. Hey, baby. Uh, yes, um... George, you moved. You're getting better. You were wrong. I guess that's what happens when you're not a real doctor. Oh. I thought you'd be thrilled. Uh, George just found pattern for scarf. And a birthday coming. George, I'd wear you any day. <laughs> Two desperate figures run for their lives, carrying with them the jungle's final and only hope. <laughs> How did it come to this? No, seriously, I'd like to know. Can, can we do a flashback or something? Sweet. Thanks. Oh, potato fizzy legs. Got it. Just one more. <laughs> Dirty bacon hairbrush. That's enough for the day. We'll finish my jungle taste report tomorrow. Oh, all licking and no eating make George hungry. Me too. Hmm. What to eat, what to eat, what to eat. Mystery berries. <laughs> Meh, had for breakfast. Squash and beans? Had for lunch. Wounded zebra! That's a good friend! Hey, what's that convenient noise? What's the big deal? It's just a dumb banana tree. Don't you know how important bananas are to all ape kind? This film will show you the delicious world of bananas. Warning, you will get wet. From your own drool. <laughs> Seriously, though, pay attention. Bananas, our most precious resource and our yummiest friend. Bananas. Like apes, no two bananas are the same. Bananas were first discovered at the sacred banana mating ground. Let's explore the three reasons we must protect these wonderful yellow mouth ticklers. Reason one, bananas are delicious. Eat them for breakfast, lunch, dinner, midnight snack, brunch, 11 Z's, tea time, supper, dejeuner, hypoglycemic snacks, regular snacks, post snack, snack, snacks, pre-dinner, post-lunch, pre-snack, snack, post-lunch, the second reason bananas are our most precious resource, they're not just for eating. You can use bananas as antiperspirant. Distress beacons. Uh, loyal and fun pets. Nothing says I love you like a banana. And the third reason bananas are so important, they're just so darn banana-y. <laughs> Every time. We never knew. That banana's so amazing. It's bananas! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Glad you finally understand what bananas mean to us apes. <laughs> Maybe we should try it with more bananas. Hmm. I call it the thought doer. Know what George thought doing right now? <laughs> You're taking things a little far. Bananas taste even better than normal bananas! 
bananas. You're just wasting them now. Bananas can run out, you know. Ape, I'm a scientist. Natural resources can't run out. It's impossible. What happened? I think we ate too many bananas. <gasps> Just bones left. <sighs> <gasps> what have you done? You used up all the bananas? All except for two? Oh, man, did we? But no biggie. There's other stuff to eat. You don't understand. It begins. All bananium found in every banana are ancient monster genes. Take control. Just slowly and quietly. Only one solution. You must. Oh no. Uh, it's okay. Run. Run for your lives. <laughs> must fix ape and save jungle. But there's only two bananas left. Okay, think, think, think. What do we do? Hmm. Yes? How ants remember all other ants' names? Whoa, George would be terrible ant. Uh, wait, what question? Okay, okay, is there another source of bananium? Hmm, maybe oranges? Those are full of orangium. Uh, it's totally different. What if we disguise the bananas as us and us as the bananas? Yes, then apes chase bananas and eat us instead. It's not gonna work. If we get more bananas, apes turn all huggable and not be fighting anymore. But how? Do I look like a banana magician? Like I do banana magic? Ooh, abracadabra! Spell no work, you terrible banana magician. I've got it! We'll use science to save the bananas from extinction and rescue Abe in the jungle to the sacred banana mating ground! <laughs> So, George and Magnolia carry the jungle's last chance for survival to the sacred banana mating ground. George. Okay, bananas, make banana babies. Go. Try moving them closer. Duh, of course. We can't do it if we watch. <laughs> Double duh. This will never work unless we set the mood. Much better. Wait, George, forget something. In case Santa hungry after deliver banana babies. George, Santa doesn't eat. Um, doesn't love anything more than cookies. Hurry, make more bananas. You two want to play hardball? We can play hardball. Fire, George! Lightning always makes stuff work. <laughs> Roasty bananas. George, hold up eight monsters. Magnolia save bananas, okay? Hmm. George need to look good for final sacrifice. What are you doing? Uh, uh. Ah! This is all because we wasted precious natural resources! Me sorry, eat too many bananas! <laughs> and now you 
you've learned your lesson. Oh, oh. oh wait. Uh, uh, hold on, I've got this. Uh, right, lesson learned. What? Apes not monster? <laughs> Get out! You pretended you were killer apes to prove a point? Did you really think we'd let you eat all our bananas? We saw you were getting greedy. So we held an emergency meeting to figure out what to do. We came up with a few schemes to stop you. Some thought we should cut you off immediately. But then we had a better idea. We implemented Operation Save All the Delicious Yummy Bananas from the Bad Bad People so we can eat them ourselves. Apes are terrible with code names. So you tore up an entire jungle to make a point about preserving part of the jungle? Sure, it sounds bad when you say it that way, but we had to be convincing. They were eating all our bananas. Come on, our bananas. <laughs> okay, yes, we learned our lesson. But you were the real monsters here. Come on, George, let's go. There's a whole jungle of things still to taste. George no want taste yucky jungle things. George, stay here and lick this slug. <laughs> <laughs> mm. What? It's a good idea. 